freeze-dried okra. I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for this. Really good. I bought a bunch of it. But I'm never going to make it myself. I'm going to give you today six reasons why I'm never going to own a freeze dryer. Stick with me. Okay, as I told you before on my channel, I get approached all the time by companies who want me to review their products. And most of the time, about 90% of the time, I just say no. Um, you'll see reviews on my channel for certain things at certain times. And I believe that these things that I do review have or could have a benefit to my audience. I'm just not going to push stuff you know, on you guys. Um, but again, there's certain things I believe in. Um, one of the things that I have been approached for numerous times on my channel is a freeze dryer. Can you please review this freeze dryer? I've been approached by at least two different companies asking me to review these things. And I've told them no. Uh, ultimately, I was considering it for a while, but then I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And um, Rain Country, which is a, a channel that I've watched for years um, on my subscription list for YouTube, I highly recommend checking out that channel, Rain Country. She did a, a, a video. Um, actually, I think she's done a couple videos. But she did a video just recently on, again, why she does not have a freeze dryer uh, on her homestead. And why her and her husband do not want one and, and why they think it's not a good idea. She's not going to review it. She also has been approached numerous times to review one of these products. And normally what they do is they come to you and say, hey, can you review our product? We'll give you the product for free. And we may or may, depending on what the product is in the company, we may give you um, a residual income for every one that you sell that you can reference over to us and we sell. Uh, we'll give you a percentage of that. So it's like a residual income that you can get. And it sounds pretty good. You get the free product. And these freeze dryers, I mean, they, it's like, depending on the one you get, it's like a $3,000 to $5,000 product. So it's like, they're giving you one for free. And so a lot of people are like, oh, you got to give me, give me, give me. And, you know, so, but the reality is when you think about it, if you have any sort of moral integrity and ethics, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. It, first off, all right, so I'm going to give you six reasons why I don't own a freeze dryer. And again, referencing Rain Country, go check out her video. I'll link it in the description below or I'll, I'll link it in the, in the, credits at the end, you know, she also gives a lot of alternatives of, to things you can do besides owning the freeze dryer, okay? Uh, ways you can achieve the same results without owning a freeze dryer, okay? So she's a lot more versed in all that stuff and her and her husband. So anyway, so here's the deal. I got six reasons. I got some notes over here I got to keep referring back to. Number one, it is too expensive. Most people in my audience probably can't afford a three to $5,000 piece of equipment. You know, there's some things on my channel that I have promoted in the past and will do so in the future. In fact, I have another video coming up on a solar generator. It's not as expensive as, you know, one of these things. But definitely I can see the actual benefit to owning one of these things. You know, stay tuned for that. But most people, you can't afford. I can't afford. I'm like, I don't have $5,000 in the bank to just, you know, plop down and be like, oh, yeah, I'll get a freeze dryer today. You know, like, what most people can't afford it. So I'm not going to push something on my channel that most of my audience can't even afford. It's outside of your grasp. It's outside of my grasp. And, you know, I, I get it that they may want to give me one for free, but that doesn't mean there's no I want to keep my channel and, you know, focused on things that can actually help people. Um, and there are a lot better ways to achieve what you want to achieve without buying a $5,000 piece of equipment. Okay, that's number one. Number two, this is not needed for survival. This is not like something that's going to, you know, at the end of the world, that's going to be like, oh, I'm so happy I've got a freeze dryer. <laughs> you know? When there's so many other things you could be using or learning or, you know, obtaining that's going to help you through the end of the world. You know, learning how to save seeds, learning how to plant a garden, learning how to amend your soil, learning how to can, learning how to, you know, getting some canning equipment, you know, getting these things fermenting, you know, pickling, all these things, so many things you could be doing. And those are pieces of equipment or knowledge that you could be doing to actually benefit you in a survival situation. 
I don't think anyone, when it's all crumbling down around you, is going to be like, oh, I'm so glad I got a freeze dryer. <laughs> Just, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. I may be wrong, completely off, but I, I'm, I'm, if I was a betting man in Vegas, you know. <laughs> all right, that's number two. Number three, most things you can make are, you can make these things without. Okay, you can, it's like most of the, like, so for instance, I did a video or it was a post, something on the internet a long time ago, back in the early stages of my channels, when I was doing YouTube about making, you know, beef crumbles, you know, hamburger rocks is what they called them with just an oven and a very low temperature. And these hamburger rocks will keep for basically ever. And so, you know, if you do it right. And so I can do that with my oven that I have now in a cookie sheet. Why spend three to five thousand dollars for a piece of equipment that can also do that? <laughs> it makes no sense. You can do a lot of this stuff already as it is, and that's one of the reasons I recommended Rain Country's video um, because she has experimented because she's been doing this stuff for so long. And I I did a video a while back where I was just dehydrating things because I had a car, a vehicle that I wasn't using anymore on the homestead really a whole lot. And so I was putting things on a cookie sheet and I was putting them on the dashboard of my car. This is before we built a dehydrator. And I was dehydrating things just fine on the dashboard of my car by keeping the windows, you know, all rolled up except for maybe a crack. And you know how hot a car is in the summertime when you get into a car? It's hot. And if you keep that window cracked, you're basically creating a convection inside the vehicle that will dehydrate almost anything, you know? So I was doing that in a car. So she has experimented with so many other things and ways to get basically the same stuff. You know, again, watch the video. So that's number uh, three. Number The last three things that we're going to talk about here are probably the most reasons, the biggest reasons why I will not have one of these. Okay. So number four, energy intensive, all this, this back and forth, you and I, you know, now enjoy is a result of my solar power. Okay. I have collected energy from the sun and I'm using that to record the video and then upload it to YouTube. The only connection to the grid here I have is a, you know, internet line, but that, that I power on my end. Okay. And so it's like, I'm, all of this is solar power. I have a limited amount of energy. And while it's basically all the energy I need, I, these things are super energy intensive. They take a lot of energy. And so if you're on the grid, yeah, one of these freeze dryers will work for you, you know, and, and, you, and you'll get the electric bill and you'll pay the electric bill and energy from the power company, even though it's, I mean, it is, it's going up. It doesn't go at energy bills, never go down. <laughs> they always go up, 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 but it's like, you'll be able to pay that bill. And you'll be able to run that machine. Me? No, I can't. It's too much. It's too, I have enough energy to do what I to live comfortably and have you know extra, but not enough for that. They are energy intensive, and you will get the bill at the end of the month. You're going you're going to pay one way or the other. You're going to pay <laughs> on top of the three to five thousand dollar. If it was like self-containing and powered itself. You know, well then, okay, great. Maybe three to five thousand dollars is worth it. But you saying I got to pay an energy bill on top of that? Yeah. Okay, number five, uh, expensive maintenance. So she had heard, and I had heard in the past about people who'd owned these machines and had used them quite, you know, you know, often on a regular basis. Things break. It's a machine, and when it breaks, you have to send it somewhere else to get fixed. And if you didn't know about the, anything about these machines, they are extremely heavy. That actually goes into my number six. Expensive maintenance that cost a lot of money to fix and pay, and the company, oh, they're not going to be like, oh, we'll send it back to us and we'll foot the shipping bill. These things are like tanks. They are super heavy. And so you're going to pay the shipping to get it fixed. So you have, there's five and six. Expensive maintenance and super heavy. Try moving one of these things. They're not fun to move. I, I've, I've moved one before. It's not easy to move. They're expensive to maintain and they're super heavy to move. All of these six reasons are why I will never own a freeze dryer. I think you can get so much. Listen, 
people, but Zach, you can get vitamins from this thing. It keeps the vitamins intact. You know, I can plant mung beans, which I grow every year. Actually, this year, the deer ate most of my mung beans, but I'll get them in the fall. Anyway, I, these are mung beans that I have grown, and I can sprout these all winter long and get all of the vitamins, raw nutrition that I need. Mung beans. I love these mung beans. And yeah, you know, it's like I can get freeze-dried okra. I can make my own freeze dry This is absolutely delicious, by the way. You know, I have canned okra. Yes, it doesn't have the vitamins because, you know, it was cooked. But it still has the minerals. It still has the fiber. It still has all of the other things that included, you know, that, that, that comes with the okra. Except, yes, the vitamins. But I'm getting vitamins from other sources during the year. Also, I am <clears throat> fermenting things that I have grown throughout the year. That's going to give me probiotics. You know, that's not that's not going to come from a freeze dryer. There are lots of other ways to stay healthy and eat nutritious foods without buying a $5,000, $3,000 to $5,000 piece of equipment that you can't move, you can't maintain, and is like super energy intensive. I can, I can do everything without this. So I have a lot of people who love their freeze dryers. Great on you. I'm glad you could afford that piece of equipment. If you can afford that piece of equipment, you really need to visit the sponsor of this video, which is Genesis Gold Group, and get your wealth into something that's going to maintain its value into the collapse of our economy that is guaranteed to come, mathematically unavoidable at this point. We're $33.5 trillion in debt. Have you, have, have you heard me say that lately? <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad for you that you own one of these machines. I really am glad for you. But I think you need to um, understand that there are, are m most people who live down here where the mere mortals live. We're not going to be able to afford these things. And I'm not trying to poke fun at you. I'm not. I'm really not. If you can afford one of these things, great, fantastic. They are. They are fantastic. I mean, this is just, oh, my goodness. Mm. Mm. Yes, fantastic. I had a guy come to me years ago, and he said, Zach, let me give you a jar of my freeze-dried eggs. Freeze-dried eggs. He's like, this will keep for a long time. I'm like, I don't ever want for eggs. I have chickens. But Zach, what if something happens to your chickens? You might need some freeze-dried eggs. It's the most populated bird on the planet. I'll get more chickens. <laughs> If something happens to my chickens, I'll get more. So I understand the water glassing either because it's like, these eggs will keep for two years in this container because they're water glassed. I'm like, why would you need to keep eggs for two years anyway? You have chickens. Well, if, if something happens to my chickens, I'll need eggs. Get more chickens. <laughs> Again, it's the most populated bird on planet Earth. You can find more chickens. Okay, enough of me ranting. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video. If you hate me and you love your freeze dryer, you can thumbs down it. But as long as you're interacting with me, I, I'm going to consider that a win. Uh, also, leave a comment for the algorithm down there below. Um, YouTube likes that for some reason. And, um, you know, be sure to check out our sponsor at the end of the video. It's Genesis Gold Group. I'm being serious about getting your money into some... Listen, a lot of us who, again, are not, you know, they live down with the mere mortals on planet Earth, um, we buy silver. You know, may maybe you don't have a 401k with thousands and upon thousands or a nest egg in the bank that you might want to transfer over. But, you know, for us mere mortals, we buy silver because that's what we can, we can afford. But for you, if you have, uh, you know, a lot of money in the bank, our sponsor will help you out and get you... Um, into something that's more safe, whether it's physical that you can hold or it's an IRA that you can have uh, set aside for your retirement one day that will still be there after all of this calamity you know, happens. They'll be able to help you, help you out. You can find a link in the description below for that information. Please click on it and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. This is Grandma. Grandma survived the Great Depression. She survived the Great Depression because her supply chain was local and she knew how to do stuff. Grandma was smart. Grandma told us to make do with what you got. She also said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Homesteading is all about self-reliance and declaring ourselves to be independent from the system. We grow our own food, we raise our own animals, and doing these things helps safeguard our families from the unpredictable world that surrounds us. But what about banking? 
I love being my own power company, but what about being my own bank? Right now, our country is over $30 trillion in debt and rising. The Fed keeps printing money and the Congress won't stop spending money. Staying attached to the modern banking system and their investment vehicles is like putting all of your eggs in one very, very fragile basket. On one side, you have the threat of inflation and your savings value floating away. And the other side is a possible deflationary stock market collapse, just like what happened in the 1930s. Genesis Gold Group is like a basket holding eggs, and these eggs are impossible to break. History shows us that all paper investments have and will return to their intrinsic value eventually. Zero. But gold, silver, and other precious metals have never, ever been worthless. In every collapse throughout history, people have turned back to precious metals to find monetary value. If you have a 401k, an IRA, or a savings account where you're literally watching the purchasing power inflate away, give Genesis Gold Group a call right now, today, this instant. They can develop a strategy for you in the days ahead. I can tell you how I raise sheep, I can tell you how I raise chickens, or the best way to grow tomatoes, or how to hook up a solar panel. But Genesis Gold Group is your best shot at safeguarding your hard-earned savings and investments during this increasingly turbulent time in history. The link and phone number is in the description below or visit their website at genesisgoldgroup.com. And be sure to say you heard about them from an American homestead. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>